So we've already covered a brief history of sports as well as the 1904 Olympics and the Laugh Olympics level farce that was their marathon. But what about the ancient version? The modern Olympics were, I guess, reintroduced in 1896, but the ancient Olympic Games were supposedly first held in 776 BC, and they were actually one of four Panhellenic Games, the others being the Pythian Games, the Nemean Games, and the Ithmian Games. The Olympics were held every four years. In fact, an Olympiad became a measure of time consisting of four years, and were competitions between different Greek city-states in order to honor Zeus. The wonder of the world statue of him was located at the site of the ancient Olympics known as Olympia. Yeah, imagine that. And we've already covered what happened to that statue and temple. There are several mythical origins of the games from a king who would race and kill his daughter's suitors to races being run in order to entertain a baby Zeus. But really, other than artists displaying their latest works or poets debuting their new poems, what the Olympics were really about were politics. If your city-state did well in the competitions, well, you tended to have more power. In fact, there were cases of athletes being bribed in order to switch between city-states. It was also at the Olympics that political alliances were often announced, and it's believed that the real origin of the Olympic Games was to determine which city controlled Olympia, seeing as it was a rather religiously important place. Basically, imagine if Muslims, Jews, and Christians decided to hold games every four years to determine who had control of Jerusalem. There were fewer events back then. For the first 13 Olympics, there was actually only one event, a roughly 200-yard or 180-meter race known as a stadium, named after where it was run, you know, a stadium. Over time, another 22 events were added, though there were never more than 20 events at a single Olympic Games. Most of the events were either human or chariot races, but others did include boxing wrestling, the javelin, and discus throw, as well as the long jump being part of the pentathlon. And at one point, there was even an event for heralds and trumpeters. And yeah, the competitors did compete nude. Any male freeborn citizen of a city-state was eligible to compete, and this included boys in later introduced events. And women were allowed to enter chariots that they owned into the competition. And unlike today, where the winners are awarded with medals back then, the winners were awarded with olive leaf wreaths or crowns. The games continued even after the Romans took over the area, and their last recorded celebration was in 393, that, that's AD, not BC this time, under Emperor Theodosius I, but there's evidence that games were still going on after that, and they likely came to an end under Theodosius II, probably in connection to the destruction of the at Zeus Temple. So yeah, the old version of the Olympics were basically an ancient Greek pissing contest between city-states to determine who controlled a religious site. Why don't we just make the winner of the Super Bowl in charge of Mount Rushmore and be pretty much the same thing, and just like in the ancient Olympics, everyone would be rooted against Philadelphia. 